In this problem, we have to find the nth Maclaurin polynomial for this function at n equals 5. So the formula for the nth Maclaurin polynomial is the following. So it's p sub n of x. And it's equal to, so the first term is f of 0. Then it's plus f prime of 0 times x. Then it's plus f double prime of 0 times x squared, and then it's over 2 factorial. So note that um, you could think of the first one as being over 0 factorial, and the second one as being over 1 factorial. So there is a pattern. You can also think of an x to the 0 here. See, so it does kind of follow a pattern. Plus f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial. And you guessed it, x cubed plus all the way to the nth derivative at 0 over n factorial times x to the n. And so what this is for and what this does is this approximates our function when x is close to 0. So basically p sub n of x is approximately equal to f of x when x is approximately equal to 0, so when x is close to 0. So in this problem, we just have to find um, the fifth one. So we have to go to the fifth derivative. So I like to do this in steps. Um, first, let's find the derivatives, and then we'll plug in the numbers. So we have f of x. That's equal to e to the negative x. And then so the derivative of f of x, well, we're going to use the chain rule, right? The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the x times the derivative of the inside. Uh, the derivative of the inside is negative 1, so it'll be negative e to the negative x. Taking the derivative again, we'll use the chain rule again, and then it'll, it'll turn back into a positive, because we'll get negative 1 times negative 1. Doing it again will give us negative e to the negative x. Doing it again, now we change the notation once we get to the fourth derivative. We tend to put a parentheses and a 4 positive this time, and then the last one would be the fifth derivative, and that's because it says uh, n equals 5. So this would be negative e to the negative x. So that's the first step. Now we have to plug in all of the zeros, because uh, it's Maclaurin. So if it was Taylor, you'd plug in a different number, and the formula would be slightly different. So this would be f of 0, which is e to the 0, which is simply 1. And then f prime of 0 is negative e to the 0, which is uh, negative 1. f double prime of 0 is 1. f triple prime of 0 is negative 1. f, and then with the fourth derivative, is going to be 1. And then the fifth derivative at 0, going kind of fast, is going to be negative 1. All right, so now we're ready to use the formula. And the formula for p5 of x, I'll go ahead and write it out completely. It's f of 0. I'm going to write a little bit smaller here. Plus f prime of 0 times x. Plus f double prime of 0 times x squared. And then this one's over 2 factorial plus f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial x cubed. It's a lot of writing, but it's not hard. Plus the fourth derivative at 0 over 4 factorial x to the fourth. And at last, we have the fifth derivative at 0. Ridiculous, over 5 factorial x to the fifth. I'm glad it didn't say n equals 20. Now, now if it did... Uh, well, we'd figure it out, right? There, there's a pattern. You could probably find uh, just the nth one, where n is just n. It's not too hard, actually, in this case. Uh, so this is equal to, let's see, I scrolled up so I can't see it. Uh, f of 0 is 1, so 1, success. And then minus, this is a minus 1 here, so it'll be minus x. The next one's a plus 1, so plus x squared. 2 factorial is 2, so x squared over 2. Uh, the next one is minus, right, because this is a minus here. So this is a minus 1. 3 factorial is 6. So minus x cubed over 6. 
Next one's a plus one, so this will be a plus one here. Four factorial is 24, so plus x to the four over 24. And the last one is five factorial, which is, uh, I believe, 120, and it's negative, so it'll be minus x to the fifth over 120. And so this is the fifth Maclaurin polynomial uh, for the function. This is approximately equal to e to the negative x when x is close to zero. That's what it is. That's what it's for. So it's a way to approximate uh, functions with polynomials. Kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool idea. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck.